This project has been three years in the making and I'm so excited to show you how it finally turned out. Hey guys, it's Jen with Mother Time and I'm so excited to take you along today as I give our pantry, well it's actually a multi-purpose room. It is a laundry room, it is a mud room, and it is a pantry. And I'm so excited to take you along to show you how I give the space, I was gonna say transform, but how I give the space a makeover and a refresh. This has been three years in the making. On Instagram I shared back in 2021, the start of it all <laughs> and what I was doing. So I'll show you some clips of that so you can kind of see a little behind the scenes. Well, since then, I've kind of just put a band-aid on this space and trying to find how I wanted to work this space, what I wanted to do, coming up with ideas. Well, the time has finally come to define the space and just kind of embrace it being a multi-purpose space, laundry room, mud room, and a pantry, making it functional but pretty, <laughs> or and pretty. So anyways, you guys, today I'm gonna to take you along to show you what I do. Wait till you see, it's already done. <laughs> Wait till you see, I'm just so excited. So I'm gonna take you along. We're gonna start at the beginning and kind of work through it. Some of the footage, I'll be honest, and I mentioned it too, that is a little fuzzy because I was shooting with my phone and then I finally decided to get up the camera and shoot with that. And so I'm so excited to take you along, show you kind of how I work this out, but the end result, is one of my favorites yet and has really kind of gotten me excited to start working on more projects like this. So that's really what I wanted to do this year is get dive into some more projects. So I'm so excited because I'll be taking you guys along with it too. So anyways, enough of the chit chat. Let's go back to, what was it, three days ago when I started this project, getting that elbow grease in. Is it elbow grease? Elbow grease. Let's look up elbow grease. Elbow grease, hard physical work, especially vigorous polishing or cleaning. Okay, well, Wayne did most of the painting on this because I'm not a big painter. I started helping with the first day, but thankfully he took over and finished painting, even though this wasn't really a big painting project, but you'll see. Um, anyways, it was, it's just, so it was so much fun. This was really a lot of fun. And the end result, like I said, is really exciting. So without further ado, out for, I can't talk to you without further ado. So let me take you back to three or four days ago when this whole project started and kind of walk you through what I did, do a little voiceover, and then I also jump on and kind of talk too. So let's get started on this multi-purpose pantry makeover. Wait till you see, let's get started. We now have, we just ended up getting all of this shelving done today and it's on the wall. He got the shelving at Lowe's, there's three of them. Now I have, some beautiful shelving for a storage because that little dinky bifold <laughs> closet, which was not even meant to be a pantry. So it's gonna be a lot of fun to get all those cute containers and baskets and just really, this is like triple the storage space that I had for a pantry compared to what was in there. Uh, we got a new sink in here coming while well, it's out in the garage. We're gonna be painting the cabinets just a plain white. And then also too, we're gonna be wallpapering I, th that wall and over here and behind there I got this really cool where is that um on Amazon it's peel and stick but it's a gray and white check that would look super super cute so we're going to be doing that um definitely behind and there and I think this wall too um so yeah so now I have we've been just turning this into the pantry and laundry room and then I got a barn door. I'm super excited. I wanted a barn door for this store. So when you walk right in from the um, garage, let me try to back up, um, there'll be a barn door here. So it'll, most of the time, the barn door will be there. That's the door to the garage. And then this, all the storage. Oh my goodness. I'm just so happy to finally have like storage. And then this is the door that goes out to the, um, into the kitchen area. And then there's the door to the outside. So, I wanted to put a wall here too, so you didn't see that, but honestly, because this is such a high traffic area coming in and out, especially, you know, the kids coming from the pool and stuff, but this is just a little spot. I'm not too worried about it. Such a difference. We painted the cabinets alabaster. The wallpaper I got on Amazon, it's just peel and stick, also changed out the sink, 
put a whole new one in here. I love the light fixture we changed out. That was from Lowe's. I love that one so much. We actually got one for the front entryway too. Now we are to three days ago. Here is a peek of what it looks like behind this door right now. You can see you have the door to the outside. And then of course it looks a little different than what I showed you back in 2021. So there is the outside porch, my, my vacuum that is a lot of duct tape on it. Hey, it still works. So I have that in here right now because this is a work in progress. So I've been cleaning. I started taking stuff off of the shelf so we could paint it. So you can kind of see what it looks like right now. I wish these cabinets came with little plugs for the holes, but they didn't. So I'm going to use some filler to plug these holes on the first two shelves. The bottom two, I still wanna be able to adjust the shelves, so I won't. So here is another look of the entire room and then also from the other view where you can kind of see into the kitchen and then of course coming in from the back door which is a popular door especially in the spring summer and fall so I want to just make this really nice tidy organized and functional time to get to work I'm going to start by removing everything off the shelves and I'm just setting everything in the living room for the time being also too I'm taking this time to go through all of the cans making sure they're not expired, but I found a few like this one. So I'm just kind of going through everything and organizing it as well and kind of purging stuff that I'm not using. So I have some bananas that have seen better days on top of the cans, probably not the best place for them, but they will make some really good banana bread. So I'm gonna get some banana bread in the oven, getting everything else off of the shelves and going to give them a quick little wipe down too. And here is the nail hole patch that I'm using to fill in all of the holes. It actually worked out really good. It was super easy to apply and filled the holes good. Now it's time to start painting these cabinets and the color I am using is Benjamin Moore Revere Pewter. Good morning guys it is day two of the pantry refresh makeover i'm glad we got a head start last night and took about an hour and just added some paint to the cabinets and some of the shelves so i feel like we got a head start so we can knock this out today got my coffee ready to go it's still early so the lighting isn't the best but i wanted to show you the color and more of the natural light how it looks this color really warms up the space ties in nicely with the existing wallpaper I may change the wallpaper out at some point, but it's not on the agenda for this project. And honestly, I do like it. And once this all comes together, I might like it even more. I may change out the print there, add something different just to give me more of that look that I've envisioned. But other than that, I really like it. Um, anyways, I wanted to show you too. We didn't get to this cubby last night. I wanted to just show you the subtle difference and why I was eager to paint it. Um, it's just a really subtle difference. Now I didn't plug the holes here because I want to have the, be able to adjust the height of the shelves possibly. I'm gonna have the curtain right here too. So that'll hide any of that and then I can adjust the shelves if needed. So I'm gonna start painting now and then once the paint dries, get it all organized and pretty and get this room all functional again. So I went out to pick up some things for this project and came home and Wayne had the cabinet and all the shelves painted. So that is all done, just letting it dry and then I can start getting everything organized, see how everything works. But I wanted to show you, so I hung up this picture that I had gotten at the thrift store that could possibly work. I kind of like it here. It was only $7.99 and then I had a 20% off coupon. So it was only like $6.40. Um, I pictured here, a picture that had a gold frame on it. That's what I kind of envisioned. Um, I suppose I could use a little bit of rub and buff 
on the frame. But when I put this here, I kind of like it too. So it might be one of those things, once I get the room all put together, I do like that little pop of green, or maybe even just for now, I might let this breathe a little bit. I can always change it out. Um, it's not that I don't like it. I actually kind of like it. I like it more than I thought. I think I went back and forth about, about it. So, um, and I can always paint the frame. So that's done. Um, I want to get this room kind of cleaned up and then start organizing all of the pantry items. So once we put the shelves in, um, I also have to hem the um, curtain that is going and hang the curtain rod too. So I'm going to start getting everything together, but I just wanted to show you how that looked too. thought that looked kind of pretty there, don't you? I like it. I don't want to have like anything that says laundry because this is more a multi-purpose space. It's not just laundry. And then I also got a shelf for over there too. So time to start working a little bit more, getting it together so we can bring this whole room, multi-purpose space together. Since it's cold out and he didn't want to go up and down the stairs to the basement to paint these, he just painted them right here in the kitchen, just put a table out and got them all painted. So they are drying out and once they're dry, I'll pop these back in the cabinet and start getting everything organized. While the paint is drying, which it's actually almost dry, so I'm going to add the shelf soon, but I've been playing around so I figured I'd take a quick second and show you what I did so I don't get too, too far ahead. But let me turn off and get some natural light in here. So that looks better. Anyway, so I'm still loving the thrift store picture there. Isn't it pretty, especially for spring and summer. And then I added back my laundry basket. I love this laundry basket, it was my great aunt. So um, I have had this here for a while, but I added these beautiful flowers that I showed you that I picked up at, at home. Aren't they pretty? I think I have like three or four stems in there. And this is practical and functional. So if I wanna use a basket, I do have a basket that I generally use this is more decorative, but I could also use it too. I have before if I have some extra, you know, laundry stuff too, but I just love how that kind of plays with the picture too. It's like, it was meant to be. And then of course I got a candle going in here. So it's nice and cozy. I love the antique candle co candles. They're the best. I love their wax melts. I know I talk about them all the time. Um, I'll put a link in a coupon code below. So if you've never tried them, they're amazing you guys. So it's smelling really good in here. Got to get a candle going. And then above here, I added some greens, just some green stems that I had. I think they were from Tattered Tulip. And this has been here for what, three or four years. And I just love that addition up there. Uh, the bins I got from Walmart a couple years ago and it just has overstock, um, outdoor stuff that I use. So I have those up there. I'm gonna keep those up there for now as well. But these look pretty dry, but I'm just, I really love the way this is coming along, um, giving it that really, Pretty feel so as people are coming in and out of the garage door, which is a popular entry, but more importantly, coming in and out of the back door, which this is to the back porch, to the fire pit, to the pool porch, to, uh, you know, the yard, of course, the pool. Um, this is a popular door in the spring and summer. I think that's what we use all the time. So I really want this to be a really pretty space. So when you come in, it just looks really nice and put together. I've kind of just put a Band-Aid on this space for the last few years. So I'm glad that I'm actually spending some time and getting it just the way I want it. I've tried, thought of different ways I wanted to do it. And I think this is just really the best solution, but making this also really pretty too. So um, hopefully this is inspiring you if you have like the same kind of setup um, to so kind of, you know, what I'm doing in here too. So I can't wait to show you how I pull this all together. I think these are about dry. So I'm gonna get ready to add the shelves. amazing what a difference just painting it did to this space it now just blends in so nicely with the rest of the room so I'm so happy that we took the time to do that anyway so now I picked up these curtains from Walmart I like that linen blend they're a little bit longer well a lot longer than what I'm gonna need so I'm gonna hem those and then I have a just a small little cafe rod this is the one that I picked up from Target. So we're gonna hang that down below. We're gonna hang the rod here. And then I'm gonna take the curtains and hem them. And then those are going to go down below. So let me get these hemmed. Well, actually I'm gonna get the rod hung first. So then I know 
how I need to hem these. And I just think those are going to look really pretty. And these were, I think, like $13 for a panel, which I thought was a really good deal, too. So I'm getting impatient because I want to start decorating these and getting them all organized and just making it look pretty. But I'm waiting for Wayne to hang the rod. He's going to do that for me, and then I'm going to hem the curtains. But I couldn't resist playing around a little bit with decor. And I got this really pretty uh, stoneware bowl at Target. It was only $24.99. It's nice and big. And I'm going to use it as a fruit bowl. Um, having like a designated fruit bowl in here and not have the bananas on top of the cans. And just look really pretty um, sitting there too. So I'm going to set that there and then have some things on the side too. So I'm excited to kind of start playing, getting all of my canisters out and then organizing the bottom too and all the things. But I just, I wanted to show you the bowl because I have a feeling slowly going to start adding things. That's kind of kind of how I work is I'm waiting or piddling around and so I wanted to show you that bowl. That's one of the new additions. So here is how it is looking. Wayne's just cleaning up the paint behind me, but I wanted to show you. So this basket I got at Target and I I love the look of it. I love the size of it too. Uh, so I actually have three of them and I have just two on these shelves that you're gonna see. And then I popped one down here. It's got Eden snacks. She loves these uh, freeze dried apples from uh, Walmart. She like she she eats them all the time and then some of her um crackers she likes too or um any and bunnies one of those so i have some of the snacks i'm going to be filling this in a lot more too with all the cans and things but um i wanted to show you so these are my bigger anchor jars that i think i'm going to do cereal i have one over here still kind of playing i have one over here i think i'm going to add cheerios to one and then i might leave these empty too and then have these as uh, fruit and vegetable baskets too. I might do this for fruit and then this for like potatoes and sweet potatoes and onions and things like that. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, then of course with spring and summer and more produce, but that's kind of what I'm thinking to use those also for uh, vegetable baskets. Then I might do this one like Rice Krispies or Chuck Mix or another cereal and add a big scoop. So that's the thought. I have a couple more of my anchor jars up there that have pasta. I have one more of the jars, but then I'm trying to decide. <laughs> so this is where my thinking is because I have those acre jars and then I have these. I think I might want to do, I only have those three. I might want to get three more to do on that side just to kind of make it all flow because I have another set of jars that I would use on that side for my breadcrumbs, but they're not... <laughs> They're not the same. I should show you. I should, I'll go get them, but it would just kind of look off. So I think I might grab three more of those and add the breadcrumbs and things in there. So let me show you the jar. Here are the jars that I have my breadcrumbs and that's my, my labeling. I use a piece of painter's tape <laughs> not to label them, but then I know, right? So I have my breadcrumbs in these containers, but I don't like the way that's going to look then. So I'm got to get more of those. So I think I'm going to get three more of those to add those in and put them on the other side. So it's symmetrical, but it's all a work in progress. Um, so yeah, I have three of those. I have another one of those, but I had cocoa in it and I'll put the cocoa because there's not a lot of cocoa left. Um, hot cocoa, not regular cocoa because I have a lot of other stuff in another cabinet that I is out in the kitchen that I keep a lot of the baking stuff in like the salts and the, the spices and all that. So anyways, this is how it looks. Gonna get the jars. And then down here will definitely be a lot more filled in. It won't be so, you know, this is going to be practical, but pretty. This is just going to be practical and functional with the baskets and, um, you know, the foods and the cans. I have the cans in here. Um, the kids like snacks in here. I used to keep down here my blender, my percolator, because I love a per I love percolated coffee, um, even though I do use our Keurig. 
I love percolated coffee, especially when we have company over. But I might move that somewhere else, but I used to keep it down there. Um, chips and other stuff. So it's this is a great time, too, to kind of just go through everything. So it's been fun to kind of just be able to really kind of clean out, purge, give things a new home, um, and things like that, too. But this is how it's looking. So I'm off to Target or Walmart to find a few more of those jars. So now I have another thought. Let me move the breadcrumbs real quick. So I was grabbing the bread box and I was going to put it down below. It actually was there. So it's easy for the kids to grab when they want to make, you know, toast or sandwich or bagel. But I just put it there. I kind of like it there now. So now, then I'm like, well, do I want to do the symmetrical? I don't know. I'm going to think about it a second. I'm going to actually grab the cans and get those organized a while. I got a new can um, shelf organizer. The one that I had before, I didn't like it because you really didn't know what you had. You had to look through it. Uh, it was the one that was sitting up here when I showed you beforehand. And I didn't like it because I didn't know, I couldn't see what was on there. It was a great organizer if you have like all the same thing. So I got another organ shelf organizer so I can kind of shop my pantry and shop my canned goods and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get that out. Think about that. I'll probably still go get my jars anyways. Um, but I figured I might as well do that first. Here's the shelf I got. I splurged and spent a little bit more for this one. I thought this one was a little bit more durable, easier to clean. This one expands too. So I'm going to put it here and then get all of the cans organized. Good morning guys it is day three of the pantry makeover last night i ran out got a few more things so i'll show you that um also i apologize if some of the other footage is a little grainy as i was editing the video that footage i actually took a lot of it on my phone just because it's more convenient to be honest with you when you're doing stuff and you're in the middle of stuff and i can just quickly whip it out on my phone well, I got my camera out, so, um, which I should normally do, but sometimes I'm lazy and it's just easier to do with the phone since it's always on me. So I have my camera now. So if the other footage was a little grainy, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, so let me see. So I hung one of the curtains up and that's why I kind of stalled last night too. So I love this linen. Isn't it pretty? It reminds me of like a potato sack and that's kind of like the look I wanted. Um, I got to still hem it. What I wanted to do first, because I hung it last night and I was like, I want to make sure it's not see-through. So I don't think I can see through it. Well, you can see the little peeking there, um, but I don't think you can see through it. So I'm going to hem it now. I didn't take the other one out because I wanted to make sure if I didn't like it, that I could just, you know, wrap this one up and return the other one. But you can't see through it. I can't see through it. Uh, but I got everything organized. The cans, like I showed you. I got more baskets that that's one of the things I ran out for last night got those organized too a um, lot of easy accessible snacks to for the kids so they can easily just like you know pull it out and get their little snacks and then got more of the other stuff organized and then behind the curtain which I just love are you know more snacks for the kids and stuff like that even Tyler you know I have teenagers and they love it Tyler was like wow mom this looks really good at first I was like is this gonna fly with teenagers and they love it because they like that organization so anyways so let me show you here so I ended up adding a few cutting boards behind that too don't you love that and then here just to add a little bit of interest uh, I added a cutting board and then this was a false graph picture that I thrifted I think for like 10 bucks not even I'm sorry it's not <laughs> Not focusing um let me see there we go Let's see if we can get it focused now yeah there we go um and it actually cheaper because i had a 20 percent off coupon um at savers so i like that there and again it's easy to move i don't go well the 
granola is Wayne's. He eats granola um, and the kids do once in a while. So, I mean, stuff that we don't reach for every day or the pasta on um, the bread. That worked out well for the kiddos. Let's see, so again, oh, I have the scoops in here. So I added some scoops that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I have to add the fruit, obviously, and stuff like that. Uh, let's see, but this is pretty much how it is looking. So now I have to hem the curtains. Now that I can see that you can't see through it. And then here I had Wayne hang up this hook. And then I just have another cutting board and a towel. I can add an apron and then actually, I'm going to get another one of these to hang up on the other side. Oh, and then over here. So I really love this. I love this uh, lamp that I've had for a while. It was in our dining room for a while. Thing of it is, is it's on the washer, which is going to shake. So I don't think it's going to be practical. But last night it was just such a pretty glow. I can maybe move it over there, but it just doesn't look right. So I don't know how I'm going to play that out. And then what I wanted to show you too is I have the matching thrifted picture that matches that one over there. It was also $7.99. I had a coupon. It was like $6.40. At first I was going to hang it on this wall, but I didn't like it there. So I ended up hanging it there because the shelf that I got for here, I just, it, it didn't look right. So I ended up putting the picture there and I kind of like it, especially when you come walking in seeing it from there so i have to get the rug down and so i ended up hanging these pictures they're silhouettes of the kids that i've had they were young when they did that and i've had those hung here before i just think it looks really pretty like that so next i'm going to hem the curtains and get out the rug and just to note the gate is there for the animals mostly the cats because we never want them to hide underneath the cabinets and then if we open the back door they try to run out which i don't think they would but Better to be safe than sorry. Uh, we just have it there. So I might even do like a little half door uh, or something. I think that might be cute too, but that's for another day. Uh, let's see. And then kind of just start wrapping this room up. Let's see what else. So that is it. So let me get the curtains hung. And I wanted to mention one other thing before I forget. So this morning, Tyler went to grab a bowl of cereal and he loves it in the jars. He just thought it was, he thought it was so cool. So another plus for this whole set up he was just he loved the scoops he loved coming in here with this bowl he actually did a little bit of both he just thought it was so great so i was like yes mom wins so i know that was a great plus too he's like get a few more of these jars with cereal he loves cereal so that's why i had to put some cereal out so i'm like okay where am i gonna put it but i'll figure that out but anyways he loved that whole kind of like bringing his bowl in loved scooping it he just thought it was really cool so i wanted to mention that 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 definitely was a plus. I'm glad I thought of adding the cereal in the jars as well. This is the runner that I picked up at Target. I like the look of it. It gives it that jute look, but I think it's gonna be more durable and hopefully not shed as much either. So I'm gonna put this down now. Okay, you guys, I got the other curtain up and they are both hemmed and I absolutely love the way it looks, don't you? So pretty, but I wanna let you in on a little secret in case you wanna do this too. So I do so I had the intention of sewing these, but I ended up doing something different instead. I ended up using some of this fabric tape. It's by Scotch. I'll link it below. So if you want to do this too, I like this tape. Now I've used the tape before where you actually have to lay it and then you iron it and that will adhere it to the fabric. What I like about this, it's actually just like a double sided tape, but it's really, really strong and durable. It's just like a roll of double sided tape. So what I did is I took my wonder clips or you could pin it. So I knew the height, I just did it to the one and then duplicated it for the other. So I love my Wonder Clips, I use these all the time. Pinned it up, cut off the excess fabric, and then just taped it up with the, the double-sided tape. You just add the one and then you pull off the excess and hem it up. Super duper easy and again, really, really durable. So I wanted to show you that. And again, I'll link the, um, the fabric tape below. So you can get it at Target or probably even Walmart online, wherever. I also added some bowls up here too, because the cereal little station has become really popular with everybody here. So I figured, well, I got to add some bowls here. So the cereal, everyone loves it, added some bowls. And then actually I added a little stool here. I had it in the basement. Now I know you might be thinking, isn't that going to get in the way of the dryer? 
The thing of it is I can easily move the uh, planter, the little galvanized bucket that I have with green. So if I do want to use this space, you know, for the laundry, I'll just move that and then I can actually put my basket there when I'm getting stuff out of the washer dryer. But it looks pretty here in here if we have, you know, people over or if we're, you know, not using this space as a laundry area. And then actually, let me just move this stuff too. So you can see Then I also added on top of the washer, which won't be functional, you know, all the time when the washer is running. But I just love the bowl with a couple of my little um, copper and wood pieces on there too. I still love that. I need to move the beets in the photo album, but that's been holding the rug down since it curled up a little bit. But I really love the, the planter there, the bucket with the greens. I think that just looks really pretty there. And then I added another one here too. This is just a little faux tree that I got at Hobby Lobby and another old galvanized bucket that I got at an antique or thrift store too. So it's really coming along. I think it's almost done actually now that that's done. I just said because I've really had a lot of fun working in here and I hope this has inspired you as well and also I wanted to show you how pretty it actually looks open too so if I open the curtains and I want to maybe just have it open just like that look at how pretty that looks just like that this space is just so pretty it just it makes me so happy after all these years of trying to figure out what to do with this space this is exactly what I envisioned and it feels so much bigger in here too now let's head in once again to the updated space and look at how different it looks from just a few days ago. I absolutely love how cozy and inviting this space now is. Okay, you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you some inspo for your home as well. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments what you enjoyed the most and make sure you're also following me over on Facebook and Instagram for lots of behind the scenes too. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.